my brother was bitten by the chopper bug, I guess, motorcycle bug, when he was about 18, I think. He saved his money and he bought a uh, basket case chopper. He tore that thing apart in our backyard, hand sanded it, you know, and uh, I remember as much as I possibly could helping him, you know, sand it and handing him wrenches and stuff. And he went from the backyard to a bedroom where he was renting a house at, you know, and I think he probably tooled on it for a year or so until he finally got it running. So then he got on that thing and rode down the street. I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen, you know, I mean, that my, my brother had took this pile of junk, you know, literally and made it into this crazy thing and rode it up and down the street and put us on the back of it. All our lives kind of took a different path, you know. My brother went in the Navy and another brother was a crane operator. And throughout the years, they all had motorcycles and they all tooled on motorcycles. My life path took a little different turn. You know, we were very, very modest means family and, you know, I was basically on my own since I was 15. And so the little money that I had, you know, unfortunately couldn't go into motorcycles. It had to go into eating and living. So. It wasn't until years later that, that I threw myself in it, you know, head first. And again, it was always that, that thing in the back of my mind. I just want to get a bike to ride with my brothers. That was it. I was enamored with the old bikes because of my brothers. You know, he had an old pan, had an old chopper, and, you know, that kind of thing. 